Our top focus and we're on right now. West Asia continues to be on edge. Reports now suggest that Iran has rejected calls by the U.S. and Arab nations to temper its response to the killings of Hamas and Hezbollah leaders. This comes after Iran warned that Hezbollah will strike deeper targets inside Israel, even if it means an all-out war. In a bid to reduce tensions in the region, Jordanian Foreign Minister Eman Safadi travelled to Iran on Sunday with a plea for an end to the escalation of violence. However, Iranian President Mesoud Pesashkian said that the assassination of Hanye was a major mistake by the Zionist regime that will not go unanswered. Well, Israel is currently preparing for the possibility of an Iranian-led attack that would include missiles being fired at Israel over the course of multiple days. Well, according to reports, Israel's security establishments, they are mulling the possibility of preventive actions or attacks. And it's clearly outlined that the state of Israel is in a multi-front war against Iran's access of evil. The state of Israel is in a multi-arena war against Iran's axis of evil. We are striking hard at any of its arms. We are prepared for any scenario both on the defense and the offensive side. I tell our enemies again, we will react and exact a heavy price for any act of hostility towards us. Meanwhile, the United States of America is continuing to help Israel against any kind of an Iranian retaliation after deploying fighter jets and aircraft carrier in the region. White House National Security Communications Advisor John Kirby asserted that Washington has the capabilities in the region to help defend Israel. Look, when the Supreme Leader says he's going to avenge, we have to take that seriously. Now, I don't know what they're going to do or when they're going to do it, but we got to make darn sure that we're ready and that we have the capabilities in the region uh, to be able to help Israel defend itself and, quite frankly, defend our own people, our own facilities, our own national security interests. The U.S. is also scrambling to revive a coalition that had succeeded in thwarting the Iranian attack on Israel in April this year. However, with Hani's assassination, there are questions now being raised if Tel Aviv will receive the same level of cooperation or not. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken spoke with Iraqi Prime Minister Sudani to discuss how all parties in the region can calm tensions and advance stability in the region. 